go to gmail.com. If you already have an account, you can log in here or you can create a new account. At the top right, select Drive, then New, and then Google Sheets. That's how you'll create a spreadsheet. Click at the top left and type a name for your spreadsheet. Then click OK. You can merge the cells just like you would in an Excel document by selecting multiple cells and then clicking Merge Horizontally. In a budget, I always like to include the purpose, item, projected cost, actual cost, and a place for additional notes. You can adjust the width of each column by dragging them at the top. Just like in Word, you can use formatting to make it look more beautiful, so the paint bucket will allow you to fill cells in with a color. If you notice text isn't fitting into a cell, just select the cell and then click Text Wrapping. For a spreadsheet, I always like to select borders that make the grid line stand out a little more. Making the headers bold will make your spreadsheet more readable, too. Because the projected cost and actual cost will be money, you want to select Currency. Then whenever you enter a number, it'll automatically look like money. Next, we'll use the Formula tool to make a sum. This will mean everything in this column will automatically be totaled up for you. Just enter the name of the first cell and the bottom cell. So for this one, I'm going to do D7, that's the top cell, and then D25. I like to organize everything I buy for the wedding by what part of the wedding it's for. Research prices to get a feel for your projected cost, and then when you actually make purchases, enter the price under actual cost. When you're ready to share, click the blue share button in the top right corner. You can enter email addresses here and Google will send an email for you, but I prefer to click get shareable link. Edit your um, viewing options here. If you want someone else to be able to edit it with you, you would click edit. If you just want them to be able to see it, you would leave it as can view. Make sure you hit save. Then you'll copy this link into an email. This is a great option if someone's not super familiar with using Google Docs or Google Sheets. They can just open your email and click on the link. Here's what it looks like to share a spreadsheet with someone else. My husband's looking at this spreadsheet from a different computer. We can both view it and edit it at the same time. He has the pink cursor, so when he types, I can see what he's typing in real time. And then I can use my blue cursor to go back and fix his typos. Now let's make a Google Doc. Go back to your drive, click New, and then Google Docs. This will be just like a Word document, only you can share it with people, and it's saved in the cloud. In the top left corner, click and type a name for your document. Then click OK. You can just click and start typing, and it will save automatically as you go. Just like in Word, you can use the formatting bar at the top to make everything look more beautiful. When you're ready to share, click the blue share button. Remember, you can add email addresses here, but I like to use the get shareable link. If you want people to view it, can view is fine. If you want them to be able to edit it, you'll want to select can edit. Then copy the link into an email and send it off. 